Welcome to episode 22 of Think Like a Predator. I'm Feather214, but you can call me Feather, and this is my ongoing tutorial series for Predator Hunting Grounds, where I take a hunting match that I've already completed as the Predator, narrate the game, and explain my strategies along the way. The Predator loadout for this episode is named Warbat, who is an exiled Predator with the Analytic Specialization, which will give me 15% increased damage to any fully scanned target. You'll know they're fully scanned when you see the red diamonds floating above their heads. Primary and secondary weapons are the hook and the smart disc. For gear, healing kit, motion detectors, and audio decoys, since he's not disciplined, he makes noise, so audio decoy will help with that. For perks, I'm using both downrange and fearless to just increase his all-around damage in addition to the analytic specialization. Last but not least, modified reserves, probably my favorite perk. On the Exiled Predator, it is especially nice because when you are both cloaked and looking through heat vision, your energy actually continues to regenerate extremely slowly. This is going to make it a whole lot easier to use the analytic specialization and get those fire team members scanned so we can put on that extra damage. So we're jumping in on the fire team. They are already in a big old fight at one of these settlements. One of the fire team members already went down. Maybe it was an exploding barrel or something. I went and tried to capitalize on him and claim him right away. That would have been pretty funny, but it didn't happen. And they know I'm here now. No big deal. Leap away. I'm cloaked. All that. Right there, they just shot a motion detector right where I was. But it's too late. I'm long gone. I'm going to play a similar game. I just threw a audio decoy to make him think that I'm still hanging around, hanging around over there. And I threw a motion detector on the building so that I can keep track of them because right now, since they're all grouped up, I want to start softening them up with the plasma caster. But instantly, right when I brought out my laser, one of them was looking out the window and, and spotted me instantly. Um, no big deal. I, I, I'm even uncloaked here because I don't even need to be cloaked. He already spotted me. But I'm using this little thing on top of the building for cover. Taking my shots. Downed two of them. It would have been a pretty good opportunity to go in and claim. But they're, one of their teammates was out of the building and was putting on some damage from behind on me. So... I didn't want to keep giving them free shots on me, so I uh, brought out the hook and tried to leap on top there and take him down, but I wasn't able to get my footing. But when I did get in here, I found the ammo crate and healing kit, first aid kit, whatever that's in there. So definitely destroy those so they can't come back and use those again. And I'm going to put on some more damage with the Plasma Caster. I should have shot in that wide open window. I don't know why I was shooting through the tiny cracks, honestly. Um, but I came away with nothing there that time. Got into second wind. They sniped me. So leap away you want to get pretty far away make sure that if they're chasing you down they don't have enough time to chase you down i did a good job of that there i got as far as i needed to because i was already kind of a distance away one fire team member was trying to track me down but he pairs me a couple times but honestly it's just it's so irrelevant it's not even funny i mean the hook is just it's too quick you're, you're, if you want to parry me, you got to parry me every time. And the hook is just too quick, in my opinion. I, I'm sure there's players out there that can do it, but that wasn't one of them. Right there, I, I was kind of mad at myself. I jumped in and got too hasty, and really I should have... That player just wasn't paying attention, so I should have tried to stealth kill. So that's what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm trying to get a stealth kill, and the little stealth kill button wasn't coming up. So, then I just swung on him and killed him. But here he's self-reviving, so I'm just swinging. I could have just claimed him, but... That was kind of me saying, no. <laughs> no self-reviving here. 
So there's one fire team member left. They're long gone. We already know what they're doing. They're going to try to reinforce. And I'm going to try to get there in time to stop them. I don't want to stop and heal. I already used target isolation, so I want to get to their location as quickly as possible. And if I have time when I get there, I'll heal. But they've already initiated reinforcements, so I really don't have the time. I'm trying to get to them. This is already a big, huge waste of time, so I knew those reinforcements were about to come back, and, and they did. So now it's just time to get out the healing kit, find a safe spot, and cloak and heal. Also keeping my eyes out. A couple of them have shown signs of trying to hunt me already, so... Normally I like to be elevated somewhere up high when I heal, but... I didn't think they were coming around. Leaping out here, found all three of them. Or three of the four of them. <laughs> Again, same strategy as before. We're going to soften them up when they're all together. Use the Plasma Caster. I'm uncloaked. I can just use the railing here for cover. And I went ahead and le I'd like to get my claims early. When I down a guy, I want to take him out of take him out of the group. He's gone. I'll take the damage they give me. It's very unlikely that they're going to actually down me. Uh, but it is dangerous because I did just have second wind, so, you know, that was risky. That was dangerous. They could have really, they could have just bombarded me with grenades, whatever, and, and actually <clears throat> finished me off there potentially, but it didn't happen. Found a pig, all healed up. Putting on more pressure at the plasma caster again. Uncloaked, so they've got a sniper out there taking their shots on me not sure where he is yet so I'm just gonna that just forces me to go in and do more melee then this guy's got his minigun out he's ready for me because I've already been putting on the pressure but again I just <laughs> I just don't care I got, got the hook the hooks if you watched my last episode with Mr. Black uh, I don't know people get mad about the axe but they don't say anything about the hook it's hilarious so I'll just use the hook So we're back down to one fire team member, and they can't reinforce, at least not for a while. I'm not sure if you only get one reinforcement per match or what, how that works, but I know at least they have a long while before they can do it again, if, if they can do it again. So I'm getting all healed up for this last guy, and... Perfect opportunity since it's just one guy. He doesn't have. He can't bring in anybody for a while. I'm really gonna try to have some fun with this this guy. I threw out an audio decoy out there, and now I'm gonna try to use the smart disc. I haven't used it all match. My idea of a good strategy with the smart disc, especially on console where it's a lot harder to use the smart disc, is to really soften them up before you use it so that when you do land a hit with the smart disc it downs them so i missed again i don't use a smart disc very often so trust me you're not watching <laughs> you're not watching an experienced smart disc player but again that's this is the perfect time to just get some practice in with it against a, a live person he ran down inside here, so I'm just following him. He's staying marked. He's still fully scanned. I keep offering him candy. So got him there. Probably put on a lot of damage. One more hit with the smart disc should definitely finish him off. Smart disc is a very powerful weapon. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this thing out the door here. He already went through that door, so I'm just kind of following where I think he went. And I wasn't able to get through that second door. So, 
still just following him. Right here we've got pretty much a straightaway. And I was able to finally get him there and down him. And that's the game. Think Like a Predator, episode 22. Yeah, the the hook. I think it's better than its variant, the War Club, the default variant. I think the hook is better. The hook, you've got just all these insane swings. But, uh, yeah, I really like this mix-up. I'll probably put the Elder Sword back on Warbat eventually, but for now, um, I'm on a hook. I'm on a hook diet right now. Like, subscribe if you enjoy the videos. Leave me some feedback, and I'll see you next time.